Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. I'm recording this right now because I want to pose a thought to y'all. This is going to be a little longer video because this video is designed to really talk about some important stuff that would spur thought, spur comments. Uh, let's get some differing opinions. If I don't get some comments and likes on a video that I spend this long putting together, well, then I'll stop doing them because it's obvious that people don't care, I guess. But I'm here to inspire people to think, to live better lives, do what it is best for them. Carnivore, omnivore, herbivore. Yeah, you know, we're going to talk about challenges and all these, you know, 10 dayers on the internet. Why do we do them like that? In some cases, I'm for them. In a lot of cases, I think it's just another diet. So let's talk about that in this video coming up. And Please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed, if you like the content. And if you don't like the content, I encourage you, hit the thumbs down button. Uh, and, you know, I need good feedback. I need those comments. I want to know what inspires thought and conversation because this world needs more thoughtful People who are willing to converse with other thoughtful people. It's way too much anger and hate in the world. So let's try all live better lives and help each other and pass along some good karma. Now on with the video. I'm here in the pool as usual, but a little bit later than normal. I've lost almost all my shade, hence the uh, new hat. How you like that? There you go. Uh, I was wrong about noise. Insulin results coming back. I thought they'd be here yesterday. Then Noy reminded me that she heard it was three or four days to get that back. Uh, Noy and the girl behind the counter did a lot, a lot of conversation in Thai. I'm interested today to find out. I'm going to go check it out if I can. Supposedly, ChatGPT new version does voice recognition and does automatic voice translation on the fly using its AI, its artificial intelligence. I'm hoping to go check that out today and see how good it works. We've used other translation software before. We don't need it for everyday conversation. But when we start talking about more intelligent stuff, real time, and that's what this is supposed to be very fast, uh, translation is really very, very productive. So, uh, anyway, I won't keep you any longer than that. Noi just went, and I, I know I'm going to get some flack on this, but I don't eat 100% lion. All these ribeyes I've got. Um. Uh, Sorry, I just got a text message. I turned my head to try to read it. Uh, all these ribeyes we just got, they're fabulous, but I can't eat them all the time. So she just went to the local market and got fresh chicken wings. She gets the middle wings. Sometimes she gets the little drumstick wings, and she gets them fresh, and now she'll take those and put them in individual serving size uh, vacuum seal bags, and then we'll freeze them in the freezer. And as I did for last night on Carnivore, 
I had about 15 of the middle wings, maybe 20. I don't know. I didn't count them. But that served my purpose well. I didn't go to bed hungry, but I didn't have steak all the time either. And uh, there may come a day if I want to accelerate my weight loss where I do something like, you know, the seven-day egg challenge where all I'm going to eat is scrambled eggs, no cheese, uh, just butter and eggs for seven days. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to accelerate it. But the thing I'm most interested in inspiring everybody is on your carnivore journey, please try to make it always a sustainable type of lifestyle. You know, all these so-called challenges. Well, that's another word for diet. And being on a diet never worked for me. Oh, yeah, I lost some weight. My popcorn and champagne diet was my favorite. I had a lot of fun on the popcorn and champagne diet. But it never was a long-lasting thing. So I question some of these channels that say, I did the 10 day where I only ate ruminated meats, only had ribeyes for 10 days, nothing else, ribeyes, salt and water, or I only did the beef, bacon and beef, uh, bacon, eggs and butter for 10 days and God, I got great results. Well, isn't that like dieting? Isn't that like changing your diet for 10 days? Which, to me, over my too many years of experience, just never fucking works. You know, yeah, it'll get you some quick-term results. Maybe it'll get the scale to, you know, jump down there a little bit and you can feel better about yourself. But, you know, I'll take slow and steady wins the race. I'm, uh, I don't know. What's your thoughts about all this? Yeah, I watch all the videos and it's this challenge and that's challenge. And I'm going to do this for the next 10 days. I'm going to do this for the next 30 days. How about you just change your fucking life? Period. How about we just do that? Change it to something that you can live with and you, you can learn to enjoy. Let's face it, change ain't easy. It's inevitable, but it's not easy. I heard something interesting the other day. My favorite saying in life was always, experience is what you get when you don't get what you want. I heard something the other day. Let me see if I can remember it because I thought it was really good. Experience is a lousy teacher. Experience is a lousy teacher. Will somebody look it up on the internet for me and just say experience is a bad teacher, experience is a lousy teacher? Cause it te it gives you the, it gives you the answers before the questions or it gives you the results before it asks the question. I don't remember what it was, but it's pretty good saying because usually experience is what you get when you don't get what you want. And I'm, I'm, proposing here that all these people who are proposing this 10 days of that and 10 days of that, you know, uh, I don't think is a sustainable lifestyle. Now, I will say one thing. If, if you're going to say, well, Noi has a problem with her blood sugar level or blood glucose level dropping to in the 40s after a meal. So for the next 15 days, 
we're going to try to make sure that she eats some carbohydrates with every meal, uh, a cup of rice, a cup of beans, uh, some cashews, some carbohydrates, not pure sugars like we give her in an emergency situation. If it's really low already, you know, jump straight to the orange juice, Coca-Cola, ice cream bars, chocolate bars, uh, coconut flavored sugar. They actually took coconut tree stuff somehow and made sugar cubes out of them. Very interesting. But those are emergency situations. Now, if you're going to say, we've got a problem. I've got a problem with my digestion. I got a problem with my, my gut. I got a problem with, with whatever. And you're going to do 10 or 15 days of eliminating dairy or eliminating cheese or, you know, eliminating steak, eliminating chicken, whatever it is, you got this inkling in your mind that might be causing the issue that you are not happy with. Well, I'm all in favor of that. That's, that's all good. You know, if you're going to try something for 15 days to see if that is a better path, that's fine. But it, before you do that, ask yourself, can I, if this proves to work well, can I do this all the time? Would I want to do this all the time? Now, in Noy's case, if having a cup of, of uh, rice berry, which is the purple rice, uh, if she has a cup of that with a steak, or if she has some uh, black beans, a cup of black beans with a steak, if that keeps her from from feeling like crap and her blood sugar dropping low to where she has no energy whatsoever, then, hey, I'm all for it, okay? Because if being on cardboard made me feel like shit, if being on cardboard put me in the hospital, if being on cardboard, uh, on cardboard lifestyle made me, you know, get dizzy and feel like I have no energy and I just want to die because my blood sugar was down in the 40s every time I ate a steak, well, I'd want to change something. So, you know, I've said many times on this channel that I fir firmly believe that there are people who do fantastic as a carnivore, period. And there are people who do fantastic as a herbivore. The vegetarians. There's people who, you know, have no health problems, are in good shape, they're not overweight, and all they eat is vegetarian, period. Uh, I look at a couple friends and they, they look like they're doing great like that. And then there's the omnivores that, you know, benefit from a carnivore diet, but they need a little bit of fruits and vegetables to go along with the cardboard, at least until their body becomes accustomed to so little carbohydrates, so few carbohydrates. So anyway, this is a little longer video, but this is going carnivore in Thailand. We're talking about important stuff here. This is the type of video that if I don't get a lot of comments and a lot of likes or dislikes, I'm going to stop making these long videos and, and stop making thought provoking videos because that's the whole purpose of this is to provoke a conversation. And I answer your comments. Thanks for watching. That's all, folks.